All right, uh, we got time for maybe one or two more people. We're going to talk to Josh in Dallas. Oh, detail. How's it going, guys? Doing very well. Fine, thanks. Hey, man, I can just get to it really quick if uh, I know uh, the show's about to end. But I am a theist. Mm -hmm. And um, my question would be, does the Big Bang point to God? Obviously, we're going to say no. Next question. <laughs> right. Right. And so my follow-up would be, um, Does would you say that natural forces cause the Big Bang? Uh, I think the answer to what caused the Big Bang is we don't know. There are too many possibilities, and there is no good way to investigate it that we've discovered yet. So... Right. So there is a possibility that some supernatural force caused the Big Bang? There's a possibility, but I'd need a reason to believe that that's in any way likely. Right. And s subsequent to that evidence, uh, servicing and us analyzing a peer reviewing, et cetera, would be the time to actually uh, look at that as a, reasonable, uh, as a reasonable solution to that problem. So, um, so just from the evidence that we have today, um, we would say that um, causes, there are always causes for um, certain um, things, correct? I mean, that things just don't come in and out of existence without a cause. Generally, that would be outside our experience, yeah. Uh, although, you know, there's weird stuff in physics like yeah. matter-antimatter uh, reaction or not... There's weird stuff like matter and antimatter particles spontaneously spawning off uh, with no apparent reason. But right. I'm not a physicist, so I'm not going to get sure, into the weeds yeah. with that thing. No, I have heard those points before, like the mm -hmm. cosmic rebound and um, the uncertainty, imaginary time type, type stuff. But obviously, I would agree that we do not have all information, so... Sure. I think you could say that those particles coming in and out of existence do have a cause. We just don't know what it is. Well, you could say that, but you'd be guessing. Yeah, in the same way, could I turn that around and say um, that since we don't know, it could possibly be a intelligent mind. Uh, same answer. Caused. You could say that, but you'd be guessing. And also, you'd be dragging in a whole bunch of uh, really complicated uh, hidden assumptions uh, about things that uh, would be themselves very difficult to explain. Like, where did that intelligence come from? But uh, you're, you're, you're presupposing that this intelligence had a cause. Well, <laughs> see, this is, God. I mean, this is strange because a minute ago you were trying to sell me on the idea that everything has to have a cause. Well, no, no, the Christian God um, claims to be the I am, the well, Christians the claim that the Christian God yeah. is that. <laughs> I don't know that the Christian God claims anything since I don't mm -hmm. believe that it exists. I mean, at no, but but the 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 Christian God or the or the Bible claims that right. The character in God. a story in the Bible claims that, but that doesn't really tell me anything useful. Yeah, well, um, what it's stating is this: this God obviously has to have certain characteristics, of course, that can account for um, the, a cause of the universe. How can you account for something that is it's with a, an explanation that isn't accounted for itself? Well, that, that's the whole purpose of the, the Christian God. It is an <laughs> eternal God. Yes, the purpose of the Christian thing. God is to come up with a hand-wavy exp explanation for things that you don't understand and say, now that we've come up with that hand-wavy explanation, we don't have to look into it any further. Right. The most I, don't, I don't agree with that. Yeah, the most, um, considering the evidence that we have been able to ascertain as of now, uh, the most we can say is uh, we're not sure... Um, what caused uh, the Big Bang or what set off that chain or explosion or however you want to describe it, and that until such 
uh, evidence, so whether that's our technology that proceeds, you know, maybe we invent something new that can look a little bit further than we have in the past, or uh, find some new math or science that can better explain um, what's going on. The best that we have is, hey, we're not currently sure right now, but we're trying to figure it out. And once we do, then we'll proceed uh, after that point. But to start uh, kind of not even really hypothesizing, I guess guessing would be the best uh, term that Russell used about yeah. what that yeah, cause would be scary. and uh, if a cause even existed at all and attributes of said cause, uh, that's getting way ahead of the current knowledge that we uh, currently possess. And so I would really caution to hold off on such declarations until we actually have more evidence to go in that direction in the first place. Well, well um, uh, yeah, uh, so you would you would pull certain characteristics from this individual if you read Genesis 1-1. Um, yeah, but that, that, that uh, unfortunately, that doesn't get us really anywhere. They, we have, what you're presenting is a story in a book, but there's thousands of stories and thousands of books that, you know, that other people have. And so you presented one, but that particular one doesn't have any uh, credible scientific evidence that can further our understanding of the Big Bang further than no, it is no, currently. it does, though. It does, because it goes well with the big bang theory that we have currently it goes hand in hand i mean no, no i'm not gonna no, no, no. i'm not it's gonna not, go with you if you think that you would like so it's not as scientific, it, so it it's not, only not as scientific as i would like but a lot of things in the bible are directly contradictory to a lot of things that science has concluded yeah. and also that reasoning that you're using you're saying that the christian god that fits perfectly with what you have so that would also mean that if someone came up with a better story that better fit with the uh, evidence we that we currently that have now. Well, that, see, that's the thing. But if someone made something up, then that would also oh. that would also fit into that portion. So at that point, but where would true, we go from that to evaluate true. which one is correct or not? Okay, can I can I say this? If the mm -hmm. first verse of the Bible is very credible, then the rest can also be credible. Is it very? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the first but, verse but I mean, that everything yeah. came into existence um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. instantaneously, um, time, space, and matter. And the, ver the, verse, the first verse of the Bible states that. Uh-huh. So, yeah, so if the Bible were credible about this guy existing out, uh, before anything was mm -hmm. created, and he said, hmm, there's no light, let there be light, and then that happened, then sure, once you're willing to swallow that, uh, I'm sure the rest of it makes tons of sense. No, but, yeah, I mean, you're making it out to be as, uh, you're almost being sarcastic or, but it, it is credible. It, it, I mean, if, if a, if a, um, a scripture, this document, thousands of years old, claim that some being created space, time, and matter instantaneously, and with modern science that we have today, is saying that exact same thing. Mm, Should yeah. we not give it the respect <laughs> due? Well, it's saying that exact same thing. thing. Well, we're out of time, but if you find a source like that which turns out to be credible, then let us know because the Bible isn't it. Right? Because yeah, you're. Okay. you're uh oh, we uh, gotta go. Guys, uh, all right. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Really thanks for calling. All right. Uh, and yeah. that's our show. We'll be on next week. Uh, thanks for tuning into the Atheist Experience. Thanks to our crew that does an amazing job all the time. Hello, Whoa. studio audience. Thank you. <laughs> well, I will add one uh, yes. last point and on that last okay. portion uh, that he said, because he said, you know, if these passages fit yeah. so well into what uh, we already know, then, you know, then wouldn't that be a uh, basic thing? But know what you would have then if you, if you say you have this story, you have these documents that uh, detail this explanation, and then the next step would be to start formulating hypotheses and start testing for that to we, so we can actually find out if uh, those claims are credible and then we move on to the next step. But it doesn't seem like people are really putting in that let work to really uh, nail down some testable experiments that we can uh, further that evidence for. But It would I mean, be great if believers could raise their standards like that. <laughs>